Hello everyone, uh, this video is about deamination, its types and its significance. Deamination is the removal of amino group from the amino acid in the form of ammonia. When this happens, amino acid is converted into a keto acid. There are two types of deamination, oxidative and non-oxidative. Difference between these two is in oxidative deamination, the removal of amino group is taking place along with the removal of hydrogens from the amino acid. Whereas in case of non-oxidative deamination, the removal of amino group takes place without oxidation. Means so no hydrogens are removed from or released from any amino acid during this removal of ammonia. In oxidative deamination, removal of amino group takes place, which is coupled with the oxidation. So this removal requires the help of coenzyme. It may be an AD or an ADP. And the most important uh, enzyme involved in the oxidative deamination is glutamate dehydrogenase. This converts glutamate into alpha ketoglutarate. Significance of oxidative deamination is it mainly takes place in the liver and to a some extent in kidney. When you see there are two nitrogens in the urea, one of them is supplied by this deamination. Glutamate dehydrogenase is present only in the liver and it can utilize NAD or NADP as the coenzyme. Coming to non oxidative deamination. Here the removal of amino group takes place without oxidation that is no hydrogens are released from the amino acid during the removal of ammonia. Examples are amino acid dehydrases. These enzymes they act on the hydroxy group containing amino acids like serine, threonine and homoserine and remove the ammonia from these amino acids without oxidation. Another example is desulfide bridges which act on sulfur containing amino acid like cysteine and when they act they remove the ammonia and form the corresponding keto acid pyruvate. One more example is histidine is non-oxidatively converted into urocanate by the action of enzyme histidase.